Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this is the channel that's all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if that is something you're interested in or if you're new to print-on-demand and would like some useful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and stick around. So in today's video, we're gonna be going over how to create this design right here. It says, screw the cookies, Santa wants a margarita. It is great for Christmas in July or just Christmas in general. Um, it looks like a pretty simple design, but I did utilize a couple techniques here that I, I wanna share with you. For example, this Santa right here was not originally holding this margarita. So what we did is we went ahead and put the margarita in his hand. So that is a technique that I'd like to show you guys how to do. And then I just added a little bit of a straw right here and I just made that using um, the line, um, just hitting L on the keyboard and making lines and I can show you how to go ahead and draw things using the lines there. So if you'd like to learn some of these techniques and learn how to create this design, go ahead and stick around. Okay, so as always, we're gonna go ahead and start with our blank backdrop. It is 4,500 by 5,400 pixels and I will be designing on black. So I am gonna go ahead and just select my backdrop, come up to the left-hand corner where it says background color, and I'm gonna go ahead and select black. Now for this design, I'm going to show you how you can edit some graphics um, to, uh, to make it appear as though uh, somebody's holding something. So it's a good technique to know how to use and you can use it in a lot of different situations. So for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go with a, a Santa because uh, Christmas in July is coming up. It is July, Christmas in July is a popular niche right now. So you can go ahead. I searched initially for Santa surfing. So I clicked up here, Santa surfing, and there's a lot of different, obviously you can see fun Santas that you can pick. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this one right here because it, it's gonna work really well for what I'm trying to do. So you can see Santa is giving a little bit of a thumbs up, right? So what I wanna do is instead of Santa giving a thumbs up, I want Santa to go ahead and be holding a margarita. So I think that would be fun. So I'm gonna go up, I searched for margarita. And graphics, and I'm gonna pick any margarita, doesn't matter which one, that you think kind of looks good with this style of Santa. So again, it can be anything. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one here. And so now I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. So I can put the margarita right here. I'm gonna size it up so that it looks like it's gonna fit in his hand real well. Okay, so I want his hand to be right around the stem of the glass. So in terms of my sizing of the glass, something right around here is probably going to look okay. Now I'm going to flip it the other way because right now it's covering his face. So I can hit flip up here and flip horizontal. And now I've got the image going the other direction. So something like that might be good. And now I can scooch it over and perfect. So now it's not blocking his face. Now that looks pretty good. So now how am I gonna get his hand in front of this, right? Well, I'm gonna have to make a duplicate copy of Santa. So that's easy enough. I can click on Santa, I can hit Control D and it's gonna duplicate him. So now I've got another Santa and he's placed right on top. So now all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna crop Santa down so all I have is his hand. To do that, I'm gonna double click and it's gonna pull up. It's got these little corners here that you'll notice, okay? So now to crop the picture, all I do is I'm gonna drag these corners down so I can drag down and it'll crop it vertically here. And then I can drag in, do the same type of idea, drag in from the bottom. I can just sort of repeat this process so that I've got his hand. And what I'm gonna end up with is just an overlying hand, something like this. And when I click out, now it kind of looks like the glass is inside his hand. So that was really easy to do. You can do it again for all sorts of different things. So all it takes is picking a graphic 
uh, duplicating it, putting it directly on top of the graphic below it, and then you can crop. And so that's how we can get different layers of the graphic and put other graphics in between the layers. So as long as they're the same size and they're lined up perfectly, you can't tell the difference. And that looks pretty good right there. So now just to finish off this design, cause it looks kind of, I mean, it's too simple. It needs something a little bit more. Let's go ahead and add some text, maybe a little straw here. Let's at least make it look real good. So I'm just gonna pull up a text box by hitting T on my keyboard. This is gonna be a real good funny one. Again, this is great for Christmas or Christmas in July. I'm gonna put screw this, <laughs> I'm gonna put screw the cookies. It helps if I can spell cookies, right? Cookies? Oh, I'm having a brain fart here. Screw the cookies. Hmm. And I still spelled it wrong. Wow, that's impressive. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, whatever. Screw the cookies. You get the idea here. Um, okay, so now I'm going to come down here to the bottom. I'm going to pull up another text box, and it is going to say Santa wants a margarita. Oops. Perfect. So screw the cookies, Santa wants a margarita. Now we're just gonna go ahead and pick a font. Again, you can pick any font you like as long as it's easy to read. So I'm gonna come down here. I've got a lot of different fonts and some of them I did go ahead and upload from Creative Fabrica. So you can go there. There's a lot of free fonts that you can download and there's different ones all the time. So you can constantly check in and look for some free ones if you don't wanna have to, you know, buy a membership you can just literally download the free ones and then upload them to canva and you're allowed to use them there so i do have a lot of different christmas style ones that look kind of cool so like there's one that looks very christmasy and i really do like that it's got a nice christmasy look to it and then santa wants a margarita i could do that in the same basic font or i could pick something else maybe i could pick something that looks a little bit more um beachy or <laughs> that's fun something that looks a little bit more vacationy can be fun i do kind of like this one here it definitely gives it more of a vacationy vibe and it helps that it's a little bit closer together because that means i can resize it and make it a little re a little bigger so it's more readable uh oh yeah see what i just did there let me go ahead and go back I tried to move Santa up and I forgot that Santa's in three different layers. So before I try to move him, I need to group all of these layers together. So again, if you click anywhere outside of your image um, and then you're just gonna hold down and drag over everything that you want groups, now I can do that and I can click group at the top. Now Santa is in one piece and I can move him around. So don't worry if you make a mistake you can always click this back button right here and it'll just take you back to whatever your last step was and you can push it a bunch of times too if you had made a, a lot of mistakes so it's easy to go back and so moved santa up there we go got my screw the cookies maybe i want to keep it straight maybe i want a little bit rounded rounded might look a little cool so let's see if i hit curve and i give it just a little bit of a rounded look nothing too big there i like that and I can leave it in white. We can change some of these colors. Um, I think it looks good in white, but if you wanted to try some greens or some reds just to throw in the Christmas colors, you can. At this point, we can add little flares if we wanted to. So if you want to add some palm trees, sunsets, any sand, we can do that. Uh, one thing I did kind of want to do is maybe add a straw. Oops. I can make it look like Santa's drinking it too if I want to. So here's some graphics and here's just some you know, fun straws I can use, and you can pick any one you want. You could also just draw your own straw by using lines. So if you just want a line, you can hit L on your keyboard, it will pull up a line. And in fact, let me show you how to do that in case you don't know. I'm just gonna hit L on my keyboard and it pulls up this little line right here. Don't know if you can see it, but I can make it a little thicker by coming up here where it says line style, and down here it says line weight. And here I can make this line as thick as I want. So you can see I can make it real thick, thin, 
so I can make it, eh, you know, close to whatever thickness I think a straw might be, maybe a little thicker than that. So I can do something like that. You can also up here change whether or not you want it dashed. So if you wanted dashed lines, you can do that for this solid line is good. You can also round the ends, which is, is good sometimes if you're drawing stuff and you just give a little rounded edge. Oops. There it is. It doesn't really matter for this design here, but um, I actually want it kind of square because it's a straw. But if you wanted a rounded edge, that's how you would do it. So now I've got essentially a line. I can click on one end of it and I can shorten it. So if I click one end, I can make it shorter. I can click on the whole thing and drag it up. I can click on one end and angle it. So this is how you could play with some of these lines. So it'd be really easy to sort of angle it so it looks like it's going into the drink and looks like it's going into Santa's mouth. That's one way that you could do it. Um, now I could use the same technique here that I used on Santa to make it look like the straw is literally going into the margarita. So if I had wanted to do that, I could make the straw maybe red. That way it stands out a little bit more. And maybe I make one more line, which an easy way to do it would just be to click on this line, which I can do, click Control D and I can duplicate this line. So now I've got a second one. And now if I wanted to rotate the line, I can. I can make it look like a bend in the straw if I wanted to. And in fact, I could. At this point, I might want to zoom in so I can really see well. So down here, you'll see it says 10%. It's a zoom. I can go ahead and zoom way in if I want to. And so now I can really see what I'm doing and I can try and line that up a little better. I can also use the arrows on my keyboard. So if I'm having difficulty with the mouse getting something lined up exactly where I want it, by pushing the arrows on the keyboard, I can move it over literally one pixel at a time. So I can make very, very fine little micro adjustments to the point where, boom, perfect. Now you can't see that there is any difference. So now it's just gonna look like one. You can always, for this, because I'm controlling the line, I can just make this line as short as I want. I mean, I can make it real short so that it looks like it's just bent right there and going in. And of course, I can, again, zoom way in so I can see where I'm at. Right now, it looks like it's going into an ice cube. I can drop it down so that it kind of looks like it's going into the drink. Bring it just a smidge over and down because it looks like I'm getting a little bit of a corner cut off right there. And so that's, I mean, that's one easy way I can do it. And I could round the edge or whatnot. It looks pretty okay from here. Um, if you zoom way out, you're gonna see, you can barely tell. So now it looks like Santa is drinking the margarita out of a straw that we drew with lines. And of course you can always just pick a straw and put it in there, but I want to show you how you can use lines to kind of draw and create different things. So especially if you just need vertical lines, horizontal lines, if you want to line through something, it's just easy to make a line and make it as thick or as thin as you want. So from here, let's say, oh, maybe we add some, some kind of palm tree in the background, something tropical. Maybe let's just put palm tree. And I can do anything that looks good. Again, it can be any style as long as it kind of looks like it goes with Santa. So you wouldn't want anything, you know, black and white or too realistic or too neon. I mean, you want it to look like it goes, but it doesn't have to be anything particularly special. Uh, here's a curved one that's got a little bit of sand to it. That's kind of cool too. And if I flipped that one, what does that one look like? How high does that go? Is it cutting it off at the top? No, it's actually not. Huh. What happens if I send that one to back? Okay. So that one doesn't look bad. So now he's got a palm tree behind him. He kind of looks like he's standing in the sand, which is, which is cool. And again, I can move this up or down or however I want to make it work. 
Maybe I want it up a little bit so it really looks like he's standing in the sand. I might need to bring it down so that it's not cropping off the top. Something like that, just so that yours looks a little bit more unique. So if anybody else used the same Santa, you don't have exactly the same design. You do want it to look, you know, a little bit original. Um, so something like that's kind of cool. You could do some tiki stuff. You could do some flowers. You could do anything that's tropical. So, I mean, this looks pretty good. You know, I think that looks good enough. So we'll just leave it at that. So easy design. Great for Christmas in July. You could wear it Christmas too. Screw the cookies. Santa wants a margarita. It's funny. And so, oops, spelled that wrong up here. We're just going to go ahead and save it as is. So I'm going to click share, download, leave it as a PNG. We'll hit transparent and I will download as is. And there's just a few different techniques that you can use to make some cool designs. And there we go, now it's downloaded. So I hope you found some of this stuff useful. I hope you can use some of these techniques in future designs and uh, I hope to see you again. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.